like you're never just in a... jerked off all the time. Some just guy like... sat around. I don't write songs, watching... but I've got this idea. Some about guy that. sat around watching Shiza porn. <laughs> Shiza porn. I don't know. I just went for a ring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even write. So I was like, eh, incest I... is a little too fucked up. Botanical porn is just weird. Shit porn. <laughs> yeah, that's a good place to go. It's I a get good. You. It's, it's a good. It's a good. It's a lot safer than the botanical porn. It, the people are ignorant are just like what, and then it's really fun because then you're just like ah, they. Uh. Laugh. It makes me laugh because I'm like they definitely went and googled that, <laughs> and I can oh, only this guy's imagine. Fun. <laughs> I can only imagine what they found. <laughs> oh, hi! Didn't Hello. notice you there. <laughs> Welcome to How to Rock a Campfire. You must have came from miles away. <laughs> you got us by surprise there. How you got into, that, how you got into this basement, which has one yeah. entrance. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on here? It's an ambush. <laughs> it's an ambush. <laughs> <laughs> <They're planning. laughs> How's it going, everybody? Yeah, so you got these two goofs here. My name is Dustin Corbett, and this is my good friend Cole Hermer. And uh, welcome to How to Rock a Campfire. Uh, today we're going to do another songwriting showcase episode. Um, I've been using my buddy Cole here as a... Uh, uh, the mannequin for the songwriting showcase I video. Beat, <laughs> I, I beat the guinea pig. Yes, the guinea pig. And, um, so this is another original song from Cole's album, Midnight Daydreams, and it's called The Basement Song. Is yeah, that, it's simply yeah. called Basement Song. I think I forgot to type in the... Yeah, that's <laughs> alright, yeah. Alright, so it's kind of some backstory, because yeah. there's more backstory to this song than totally. there is actually a lesson. <laughs> New record. <laughs> New <laughs> record, you know. Um, cool. So I wrote this song one morning. I studied songwriting at Seneca College, mm -hmm. and it was the morning of exams. And this was the one day I actually had a real exam because yeah. I had my English exam. Yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. And music college, the exams are very performance based, and I just kind of had a rough night before. I hadn't really gotten much done, and kind of came into school not all that prepared because, because. Yeah. Well, that's what I did. Yeah, <laughs> that that's was just how it happened. Yeah, yeah. That's what I did back in those days, and yeah. still do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyways, the point is, um, I kind of wrote it. My professor, he'd given us kind of our final thing, and I had done that well, and he asked us at the end of the class to just go out in the hall and write. He would give us five minutes and just write exactly how you felt. Hmm, that's interesting. And as fucked up as it is, this song is exactly how I felt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. And kind of, because I was, I spent a lot of time with the lyrics, because the lyrics I just really got into. And then I got to the end, and I'm like, well, there's two minutes left yeah. for chords. Yeah. So, so I'll just I kind of went with my literal attempt at the old saying, you know, Three chords in the truth. Yeah, right? cool. I love that line. It's, it's a so good funny. line, but I'd never taken it that literally yeah, until yeah. that morning. <laughs> until this song. And That's I'd, pretty cool, man. Lo and behold, I kind of stumbled. I'll admit this. I kind of stumbled on this little riff beforehand. Yeah, yeah. I actually figured it out trying to learn Here Comes the Sun by right, the Beatles. Actually, right, right, right. Because it's actually. Here comes the sun. But you can't copyright the last that quarter last of the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> they will do that one for Out of Rock a Campfire. That would be sweet. Yeah, yeah. We, can rip we should that. do that. Okay, I'll write that down. Yeah. But um, I like the idea that you, uh, you know, a lot of the songs, a lot of people say like you can't force a song, you know, it's just got to come in the moment with the, with the, with whenever it's happening. Yeah. But I like the idea that sometimes you can just put that extraneous pressure on yourself. Like the teacher's like, okay, you gotta write a song right now, or you know, that's your exam, right? Yeah. Like I could see myself like going home and just being like trying it, you know, smoking a joint and then being like, all right, here's my timer. I've got 10 minutes to write a kick ass song. Three chords and the truth. What have I got? You know what I mean? Thing that pressure can, can work in that way. If I smoked a joint, I probably would have only used two chords. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One chord. <laughs> Okay, I right. promise it would have started halfway through. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And that would have gotten really annoying real quick. <laughs> yeah, the weed can do that. I don't know where I am, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> That's why I don't do drugs. <laughs> why I do do them. <laughs> right on. I guess I didn't like this thing too long. That was the, that was the weird thing. <laughs> that was kind of odd. Vibrations, maybe there was like one of those like maybe it was point, on point zero one three years ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We you had heard a butterfly it. effect just now. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> the plates just shifted. Yeah, we <laughs> just saw something happen in China. <laughs> something <laughs> happened in China that moved our fucking oh, light. Watch us turn on the news and see the terrible trash. Won't we feel like dicks? <laughs> I better like make sure that didn't happen. Here we are laughing <laughs> miles away. A whole city just collapsed. Okay. I think this is a great thing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All part of the flow show, folks. All part of the flow show. <laughs> so, this will be the short lesson. Yeah. So, cool, cool. it is capo on six. I guess I should say, I'm gonna. What I like to do when I'm playing a lot of songs is I'll see what somebody else is playing. Uh, you're playing it with the capo on the 6th fret, and you're playing it in the key of D. Yeah. I've got my capo on the 4th fret, that's 2 frets down, which means if I were to play your D chord, I would be playing the E chord. And if, if, you, if you play that D chord... Sorry. So it's okay, I'm just yeah, good. making sure oh. I can make that point. So it's the same same thing, right? You're going from the 1st chord in the, in the key, which is the D. So, right, you're going from the D to the 4th of the D, which is your G, right? So that's the fourth, and then uh, I guess the second or ninth. The seventh would be like the ninth of the D key signature. And I'm doing the same thing with my chords. E, if E is the first, A is the fourth chord, and then F sharp, F sharp seventh, is the second from the E, from the second to the ninth, right? Yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm doing, but... Uh, if you're gonna play the song the way it's played on the album, you want to do it the way Cole's yeah. got it. Because I'm the only guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing support. Actually, I, I shouldn't say that. Um, my producer, Justin he, Melly. Justin Melly. God bless him. Keep an eye out. Shout out to Justin. Shout out to Justin, indeed. Cheers to Justin in the back. Is that fucking right, man? Love um, that guy. I'm going bowling with him on Sunday. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, maybe I'll seen. see if I can come with you guys. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where we're bowling. But oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, just said, bowling he just out. said, he's like, do you want to just hang out and drink and go bowling? Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, of course. Okay, cool, man. Okay. Right, so. You give her, brother. <laughs> we're making up that. for how short this <laughs> lesson go. is. Cool, cool. By coming out with humorous and yeah. charming okay. dancing. Okay. At we hope. So, <laughs> if you're playing it up here on the way of the record. Yep. I think that sentence made sense. Um, <laughs> it was a sentence, that's all I It was a sentence <laughs> with a period and a capital. <laughs> that's <story>. right. Grammatically, <laughs> it made sense. Yep, I had the beginning and the first <laughs> and that's what's important. So. I'll tell you, buddy. <laughs> all right. So, it's part of the reason why I like playing it up here is just because of how bright the chord yeah, is, right? Yeah, totally. Very trebly. But it still's got lots of bit, lots of bass coming from that D, right? So, so D D D sus D. Yep. D sus G E seven, and then the double E seven, as I call it. When you yep. Get the two sevenths. Yeah. Nice, nice. nice. You got the the open. Because one open. seventh is never enough. Now, of course not. You always need that more. Got that more. Because. I have no restraint. <laughs> That's the like it. it's, Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm <laughs> shameless with it. <laughs> That's cool. And I like that it does add like its own sort of way. And I find a lot of what makes this riff work is the attitude that you play it with, right? Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I play acoustic guitar very hard. Mm -hmm. It's because I used to play in garage rock bands. So yeah. Everything's like... Yeah, cool. Well, not even that sophisticated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, <laughs> like cool, it's... Cool. So there's kind of these little better booms yeah. that I do kind of too. I describe a lot 
of these things orally, which, yeah, drives, my, which <laughs> just drives my students nuts. Yeah. Well, what like, are we going to do? Break it into quarter notes, you know? Like, then eighth note down, eighth note up, eighth note down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like, I like it like I that. I was teaching a student war pigs on drums today, and I like was trying to describe how the, like, t t t t t t t t t t t t so literally how I wrote it down was <laughs> the formula is there. It was, no, it was it was four or five. Yeah, That's yeah, what it was. Four or five, yeah, yeah. Cut four edit eight. it right to that. Yeah, nice, nice. Four or five. <laughs> <laughs> and they laughed because they just like saying four or five. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Back to what we're talking about. Cool. cool. So the attitude comes from the It's very da 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 Yeah. So yeah, that's basically the whole song. One thing I've been doing live, and the interesting thing is when we went in to do this EP, amazingly enough, and I hope people appreciate this when you listen to it, these are demos. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like when me and Justin went in, the idea was, well, I wanted to do these full bands. Yeah, yeah. And he was just going to help me demo them. Right? Yeah, true. And no, it works good as a folk type thing. It does work, but what the challenge was is because I have such a primal way of playing, mm -hmm. that how do you create the most life out of just just as the basics, right? So we did very subtle things. Yeah, like, yeah, but they're all in there for sure. Totally. It's funny how so, production and tone can add such an extra dimension to. Yeah, it's a total release. product of production. Mm -hmm. And dynamics. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what made the song work. Because cool. if I did the whole song just. There wouldn't be any color to it. Yeah. There exactly. Yeah. That's, That's like my, my uncle Rick always told me he was playing with color, yeah. dynamic color, and not just yeah, not just the chords. Yeah. And that's what kind of lies with the inherent challenge of, mm -hmm. and that's why you know that they, they always go, you know, three chords and the truth. That's hard to do. This is the only time I've literally been able to do it. Cool, cool. And that's because you it's a chord work. progression that, one, it's a great chord progression. Yeah, yeah. Two, it's the attitude and the ups and downs of the song. Totally, totally. That so, color to it. Or that make the song what it is, man. It's a cool, it's another dimension to songwriting that you would, like like you said, it's three chords and the truth plus emotional dynamic. Yeah. Well, that that's ultimately what carries, it, carries the song. Yeah. If you yeah. have an emotional dynamic, mm -hmm. that's what makes great songs so great. Totally, totally. It's the duality, it's, you know, the, this song, when I play it, and you guys hear it, like, it, it's this basically, like, this grocery list of, like, everything that was wrong at yeah, that point. Yeah, cool, Because cool. I literally just went out, this is what I'm upset about, this is how I feel, and... That's why it's so blunt, and trust me, like blunt and honest. Like my classmates laughed, not because they didn't think it was great. They were just amazed at, at how, how how honest, true, true, like cool. some lines. And that's one of the things I like about it is how brutally honest it is. But that, and sometimes you'll listen to a line on this song. Mm -hmm. There's one you guys will hear. Yeah, cool. <laughs> that you'll be like, wow, I can't believe he said that. Yeah, like, yeah, and you went and did it. The fucking I jerked off instead. Is that your thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. The song. I love it, man. It's poetic, bro. Like, yeah, it's totally poetic. Amazing thing. Um, mm -hmm. I was actually gonna change it. Yeah. When it was in like the mixing process, yeah, I true. was just listening to it, and I was just like, "Can I put a song <laughs> yeah, this yeah. in?" Like, no, I love how edgy I, you are with the album. Man. And this is the moment of weakness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is once again why Justin Melly is such a good producer. Cool. Because I went in and I told him there were some lines I wanted to change. There was a line in Downtown Lullaby, mm -hmm. another song. Yep. They wanted to change, which actually did make the line better. Mm -hmm. In the bridge. And there was this line. And I did the one line and he was like, okay, that works mm -hmm. just as good. And I did a version of his, which was a basement song, which is... I could just deal with it, but I blacked out instead. And I was like, oh, that's a nice little save. Oh, that's change, a good right? save, for sure. <laughs> good save, and Justin, like, when he, and I asked him, like, what do you think? And he's like, do you want to, like, really know what I think? And I'm like, what? And he's like, like, it works, but 
The jerked off thing just seems <laughs> Yeah, amazing enough. Yeah. You sang that line way more passionately. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, that's hilarious. <laughs> he's like, because you meant it. Yeah. I don't, he's like, I don't believe you went home and it's drank yourself. He's <laughs> like, I believed every word. That's great. That is actually And I'm like, hilarious. oh. Justin's good like that. And I'm yeah. like, oh, good God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, that's great, man. It's the honesty it, brings in the spirit of Yeah, thing, exactly. Right? He says, like, and he said to me, he's like, <laughs> so many people, it's not that it even feels cheap and that's yeah, the yeah. thing if there's lots of ways that people could reference that topic yeah. and it feel cheap yeah and yeah, i yeah. can't even think of a lot of other cases yeah where it's where that we're having that in a Issue, song has yeah, been yeah. i mean rosie by jackson brown yeah. is allegedly yeah about yeah that. i heard that yeah, yeah but it's like the i also heard that, don't stop me now i'm having such a good time i heard that's been oh the off. queen song? yeah 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 i'm a really? rocket ship reading to oh that's <laughs> awful because i always thought that was like about like the contemplation of like it could be so like deeper. we're like that and now you just yeah. ruined it <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Uh, it could be both, man, I swear. Because Master is the um, one, you know? I mean, <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. we kind of said we would delve into the song. So yeah, that's Like, right. what it's about, so I guess totally. we should jump into that. Cool, cool. So, what the song kind of about, I don't want to go line by line, huh. even though it's a three verse song. It's but three chords and the truth, bro. Three, yeah, and it's three verses. Yeah. Whole so. matches. Oh, <laughs> cool. So, Cool. Um, what three, 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 it's four. about is a lot of, the first verse is kind of deals with the, with contemplating, you know, here I am, I'm in school, I know I can be accomplishing a lot more than what I'm actually doing, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> there's just something that can't get me off the couch, yeah, do you want to do, and I spend a lot of time in this basement, which is, how ironic we're here. <laughs> yeah, cool. Trippy. Like, cool. I've spent, when I'm not out teaching, I spend the majority of my day down here with my laptop. Yeah, yeah, figuring shit. Laptop out. there, guitar semi hanging yeah. off the couch. Yeah, cool. Either listening to it, listening to music on my laptop's terrible speakers. <laughs> sure. Because cool. I can't afford an iPod. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah, yeah. And, but that's more productive. <laughs> cool. It used to be something. I sat here and not really doing anything. Yeah, everyone has those phases, man. So you have the, I should have listened to what my mother said. Mm -hmm. Got too much shit to do, but no time for bed. Yeah. Kind of an admission of, well, I had my opportunity to get done what I need to get done. Mm -hmm. But it's too late. It's fading away. The problem was that I had class at six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And at this point, it's way too late to yeah. get done what I need to get done. True. And almost being like, well, I should... But if I get it done, I'm not going to have any sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So chasing some sound repeating in my head, trying to figure out, like, bait, well, still what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. I you could just, and then the line that everybody's going to perk up on, I could just deal with it. But I, I what, Dustin? I jerked, I jerked off, off instead. instead. <laughs> Damn, got me again. <laughs> and, well, fellas... <laughs> hey girls like it too man. Yeah. well I'm just saying I'm like People. fellas you, yeah, yeah. like hombres you know what I'm talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. every we've guy there, in there man. is just like yeah. Yeah, yeah we've all been there man and all the girls are just like ugh <laughs> you. sorry gotta get it they're out they're looking at their boyfriends right now, yeah. like, you too you, you like, don't do that no of course I mean, not of course not babe <laughs> That's cool though, man. And I wrote that line kind of just in the spur of the moment. Yeah. I did. I was just kind of like, yeah, it's interesting. At bare minimum, of course, my whole class laughed. Yeah. Not in like yeah. a ha ha, what a terrible line is in there. Like cool. My friend literally like almost like spat his drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't exactly like he was drinking coffee. And yeah. I just remember, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And I was like, great line. Yeah. <laughs> well, that must well, have something. We have to we keep got it. A reaction. Well, we have to keep it now. <laughs> And now I just wimp out, and yeah. the next verse, cool, I guess it's worth a try, so I turned off my phone, 
Sometimes I miss the comfort of being alone. Cool. I'd recently ended a relationship at that point that I'd been with for three years. So, I, weirdly enough, the whole time I was in this kind of relationship, I was like, I'd never have enough time to myself. And now I had too much time on yeah, my true, hands. True, true. And I was, it was the irony of, you know, now I finally don't have somebody texting me 24-7. Yeah, yeah. And I'm miserable. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's tension, man. It's just such a cool picture of tension. <clears throat> oh, exactly. And all the best songs come from some kind of tension. Oh, yeah. You know, well, you, I, I always say you got to pay your dues if you want to sing the blues. Uh, <laughs> it's like a good that, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rhyming. 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 Totally, man. You got to uh, have something going on to make something song. worth singing about. And then probably the line, we're, the, I, my favorite one is the third because it brings around... It goes from what our character wishes he was doing to kind of he got what he wants and now he's seeing that backfire on him. And then the third verse is him kind of going, well, this is what the end result is. And this is what I'm, I, where I'd like to be. So, I used to be straight edge, now I'm crooked as can be. Cool. True story. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do drugs or drink when I was in yeah, high yeah. school. Yeah. So, and here I am years later, probably way more messed <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. That's there, interesting. Right? It's always kind of tantric because people usually think you're going to make it to some kind of end, but there's always. Oh, my friends thought I was going to be like the squeaky cleanest guy. Yeah, yeah. Cleanest. Cleanest guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Squeaky cleanest guy <laughs> in the world. And, I'm cleaning And you here are. I am two years later. I'm in a basement and. They're off being architects and, <laughs> and slugging your shoes, slugging beers, and, and living it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get you, man. Was it the movies my mom didn't let me see? My parents were always very like kind of they're protective, not in like the Roger Waters way yeah, where I write yeah, a yeah. concept right, right, about right, it. Right. But <laughs> no disrespect, my favorite Pink Floyd album. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, that's for sure. That <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Everyone's got those parental But it's kind of the, maybe if I'd been able to see some of the harsher things in life, maybe I'd be ready for kind of the, the harsh of that life. Yeah, is. maybe I would have been ready for the crushing reality cool. if I hadn't been in bliss. Yeah, 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 I get you, man. That's very interesting. Actually. And then the line, which I probably, like, more or less I'm almost shouting in the Shouting in the recording, yeah. I feel so sick and tired of, of feeling, feeling sick, sick and, and tired. tired, and I sure could use a break from walking on wire. Mm -hmm. The desire for just some kind of release, uh, some release, or just having something steady. At yeah, this point, yeah, I was yeah. in a band that was on shaky ground. Yeah. I myself was on shaky ground. Mm -hmm. My education was on shaky yeah, ground, yeah. Cool, and. That's what the walking on wire line. That's actually my favorite line. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so. totally, man. That's fucking really cool to hear you really bridge it all out like that. Like, I find the best stuff is when it's like, I think of a lotus flower that's growing out of the mud. It's almost like the mud is what makes the lotus flower seem so beautiful in okay. contrast. I've always used a similar similar analogy. Weirdly enough, mine is a daisy growing out of concrete. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So that's as soon as you said thing. that, I'm like, huh? I like yours better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, they're both good, man. Because yeah, mud is cool. at least soil. Yeah, yeah. Mine's just being silly. Yeah. <laughs> well, concrete, you know, concrete's this hard, structured thing, and there's beautiful flowers organically growing out of it. Anyways, that's how you play yeah. basements. <laughs> yeah, that, all, for all this three chord song, you need to know all this. The amount of material you get after the third beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. Scraping the bottom now. Yeah. <laughs> Kill him, buddy. Do we do an outro or do we do like the, well, thank you for joining well, thanks us. Thanks so much. We'll yeah, see you nice next see time. <laughs> Have your dog yeah. spayed and neutered. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll play through the song first and then we'll just play by ear. Yeah. Righteous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gnarly is a gnarl. Okay. Cool. Okay, so yeah, so this is um, my buddy Cole Hermer. This is from his album Mid Midnight Daydreams and it's called Basement Song. Basement song. Gotcha. No <laughs> the. No the. We're no too the. fast for that shit. No. <laughs> well, who needs the? Yeah. Who right. needs it? <laughs>
But now I'm crooked as can be Was it the movies my mom would So that was my good friend Cole Hermer's tune from his, uh, uh, an original tune from his album. And uh, I always like to say, you can check out all Cole's stuff on Bandcamp if you just look him up as, I guess, Cole Hermer. Yeah, if you just yeah. look up Cole Hermer. Cool. Yeah, be with my name. Yeah, and you'll see the whole thing on there. So thanks again, as usual, for hanging out with me and doing oh, this oh, stuff dude. with everybody. Absolutely. I'm Dustin Cormier, this is Cole Hermer, and uh, we're having a rock campfire. See you guys soon. Cheers. Cool. All right, I gotta take a piss. Yep. <laughs> no, we're crunching it though, buddy. Was that two out of four? Was that yeah, two? Yeah, that was two out of four. Cool. Groovy. Hey, folks. Just a reminder to check out my other channel, How to Rock Spirit, where I talk about everything under the sun, from astrology to mysticism to psychedelic yoga to practical materialism and philosophy, too. Hope to see you there. Namaste.